Every great martial artist loves a dream. Let's get up and let's get ill, let wait fans. It's game time! Make some noise, Mandalay! This is the main event of the evening, and it is for the Cruiserweight World Let Wait Championship. First, introducing to you the blue corner. This man holds a record of 21 wins, 10 losses, and is an 11 fight UFC veteran. Hailing from Arizona, USA, give it up for the Polish Pistola, Seth Bajinski! His opponent standing across the ring needs no introduction. He is undefeated in Letway with a record of four wins and six draws. Hailing from Canada, but representing his adopted homeland of Myanmar. Give it up for the king of Letway, the Nomad, Dave Latou. Championship it's action that. on the line, and when it gets underway, the man in charge is Master Cool. Let's get up and let's get ill, that way, fans. This is championship main event of the night. Stunning work again from John Nutt. Yes. He has set the tone. You've got to look at the demeanor of Dave Leduc here. He's about to come into your shot. He just got okay. tattooed yeah, yeah. up with his traditional... Burmese yeah. tattoos as warrior yeah, later, 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 huh? follow the, follow on the thighs. Follow the roof, okay? He's going to treat himself to finishing roof, those tattoos okay? fight, once fight, he's fight, done huh? with this Cut. one. He travels the Good world luck, teaching the art of Letway now. He is the number one Letway fighter in the world. He has vanquished Letway yeah. legends. Everything you're saying changes the meaning of these fights for Dave. He has so much more to lose now. He has all of this reputation, he has income, he has all of these things and it's, it's there to lose. And you have to be free of that. You have to be free of it when you fight. But this trance-like state that he can get into while he starts moving here. Ready, ready, round one, four. Oh yes. One thing we've seen tonight is, is sometimes a failure to take the opportunity to use that ninth limb, to use the headbutt. One of the greatest practitioners on the planet Earth of headbutts in fights is Dave Ledoux. Now, Dave, also, the dad. Dave also uses a front kick to the thigh a fair bit to keep a man at distance. And then Seth wants to get inside and when he gets aggressive and comes in a little more, then Dave will go even deeper and go into the clinch. The front kick keeps him away or forces him to get more aggressive. When he gets more aggressive, you meet him inside and you go to the clinch. Dave with the left hand and he's flowing beautifully. Might have rocked Seth with that left hand. The front kick to the face. You gotta watch out when you get tangled in those ropes, Seth can absolutely fire. Dave doesn't want to be too nonchalant either. Seth Mistinsky's gonna create a lot of energy here. A lot of force, harvesting it from the mat. Left hook from Dave Leduc. Drops him with a teep kick. Ooh, that's what you got to watch out for. Exactly. Big, outside, long, reaching punches from Seth. That's going to be where he's most dangerous. And Dave wants to be all the way out at kicking range or all the way in at elbows and headbutting range. But he's not rushing to that yet. Yeah, he looks fluid, languid. He looks at comfort, at peace, Dave Leduc. Although there was a moment there where he came in head down. That wasn't good. Definitely not something he'd want to do if he saw this tape back. Well, he's used to fighting shorter opponents, actually. That's a big, big shot right hand. by the Duke! And he is now in a state of play. A state of violent play. Second huge shot, really, from the Canadian here tonight. Big oh! elbow from Dave Leduc! I think it was a tight left hook inside. Leduc has just taken Seth apart here, but he doesn't want to get too obsessed with the idea of finishing this early. Fascinating to see it is. the Duke in full float. Seth's just gotta focus in here and just go to the basics. Jabs and low kicks, straight punches. And he doesn't have to finish it all in one. Just start touching the chin. And there, he's doing exactly what you wanna do. Straight punches. Nothing too fancy. Don't get into Dave's game. 
That's it. Seth got two. Dave rolled out of them, but it's the right idea. Pachinski's back in, and there. Look how nonchalant the Duke is. Looks in his oh. very, at his very best tonight. Wow, is he ever. Oh. Uses that teeth kick yeah. so effectively to establish the range. He hasn't rushed in yet either. He hasn't gone in to start headbutting. When that happens, watch out here. It could. He was looking for the elbow. Whether he, whether he wins or not, you are seeing something very special performing here as he goes tight with the elbow on the inside. Seth doesn't look like he's getting a great deal of power behind his shots. In those flurries, he has his moments where he can touch the Duke. Yep, he's back, got Dave backed up. This is what he wants. Hooks now, wide hooks. Stop. Remarkable and, first round. And Seth has now experienced the king of Leroy. And he's got to make some adjustments. And Dave, what he wants to do is what he's doing here. The front kick to make space and look, the little hook, pushing, pushing, making space, landing the hook. Kick, kick the body, hook off the kick. He is so, he's innovating and improvising in real time. Full commitment there. And we talked about it before, the physicality. He is using training to create the body and the musculature that he needs. Look at the shake of that head. And that is a lean, thin, live martial artist the harnessing energy that he's creating through technique as he comes up underneath, elbow down, and watch, elbow and beep, left hook, and his feet, he's in a state of balance. So there's Arena, his wife. They are, they have become stars here. They got married here in a giant ceremony. It was on national TV, and they're stars in Canada as well. They're super villains on the show of Amazing Race Canada. <laughs> that was just unbelievable artistry, wasn't it, from the two? Incredible. I mean, the technique on that Incredible. left hook, it looked like an elbow at first in live live action to me and then just looking at the replay yeah wow the hook yeah the elbow coming down and then the hook and just it's just really connecting to these truths of what's happening he's connected to the art of what's going on right now seth gets up now what do you do here if you're seth when my answer to my own query would be we got to do what we do best which is stay calm but fire with with authority and lad he's smiling properly at his wife is they're saying well we came a long way here let's get this thing happening um, and throw the big punches with commitment at long range pushing forward but wow Dave LaDuke's look he looks like peak Dave LaDuke he's almost yeah. in a flow state this yes. is kind of what you dream of right if you're a martial artist it finding is. your being, being present, being so present and so connected. And everything we're saying is true. If he gets knocked unconscious, it's still true. If, if Seth finishes him, it's still true. Seth would then be finishing a man who's operating at his best. But right now, what you're seeing is quite magical. The Duke again, we're gonna use the teeth to keep Seth at bay. Seth, I like what I'm seeing. He's making adjustments. But if, you, if you're outside, you've got to kick with that kicker. You just can't have him piece you up. Seth is doing a very nice job now. He's made some good adjustments. He wants to just line up the straight right hand. And there, the, the third punch being the intended punch, the right hook. He's there, much better work from Seth Paczynski. Well, with the right wow. hook, Polish pistola. And Dave moves his targets on weird flowing angles, weird pathways, and it's gonna, if you're gonna land on him, you have to punch to where the head will be. Now Seth on the inside, that's good work from the American. Yes, very good, and he lands a good one there. That's, he's getting some success now. And what he wants to do is get Dave drawn into just throwing punches at each other, just standing and punching, and that's what he's doing. He's getting that out of Dave, and now watch, Dave's gonna piece him up on the inside. This is... Good work from Seth Machinsky. Very good work. Very good one. Much improved. I mean, this is his first Leroy fight against yeah. the King. Yeah, and he got a rude awakening in round one, but he's having an excellent minute here in round two. Seth growing into this fight. Getting That's on the inside again, Seth Baczynski doing well. None of them really landed that well, and Dave is calm enough to be able to see it and move with it. And there it is again, the elbow to the left hook, and he puts this man down. Look, this swag of Dave Duke. It's something to admire. Three. When we see that one again, it, it's a longer left hook, but it's Five. the same idea. The threat of the elbow Six. forces the man back. He moves Seven. back slightly out of range of the elbow, Eight. but into range and of your knuckles, Eight. arcing towards him off that left hook. The left hook also has power created because as the elbow is landed, you step into the left leg and you harness that energy as your body explodes out through the left hook.
That left ear of Seth Paczynski has taken vicious punishment and just an explosion of blood yeah. is a result. I once finished a fight in Edmonton, Canada by exploding the nose. <laughs> I'll tell you, it was something very special. I, the thing that is blowing my mind so far, and again, this doesn't mean this is a foregone conclusion, it is not. But what is blowing my mind is how well Dave is moving defensively. He's seeing what Seth is throwing and he's making a miss. That has to last all night though, because one big one from Seth Mashinsky. Oh man! Seth held the leg and Dave just hammered him with right hands. The power of the Duke is on One. display for all to see. Go. Seth Pashinsky has never Three. had this experience. He's fought top Four. guys all over the world. Five. He has never had this Six. type of experience where he's been dismantled, disassembled. Okay. Hands up. Oh. But he's still in it. This is the tough American with nothing but heart. The Duke now looking to finish oh, this fight with a sharp elbow. Oh. And then a push, the elbow off the head. He's, he's controlling the head One. in the choke. Seth can't believe Four. this. He's just... Three. Four. It's the fourth Five. time. If that Six. is considered a fourth knockdown, Seven. that'll be the end of the fight. Hey. We're gonna get a replay. Watch, off this big short elbow in there. And then, now that one wouldn't be considered... Oh, it is over. We, we've got word, it is over. Dave LeDuc takes him apart for two rounds, disassembles him, and then finishes him with four and